Yeah, it was, uh, he was in the zone when you talk about Luca. Got off to a really good start. Um, you, you know, I think he uh, was, was letting everybody know he was all right um, and that we're all right. Um, but I thought he, again, incredible performance uh, to play 44 minutes to try to get him rest uh, during the game. I thought the trust that he had in his teammates, especially, you know, down the stretch, uh, we missed some layups there. Um, that the game would have probably been over sooner. But again, um, getting double teamed, um, making the right plays, trusting his teammates are going to step up. And uh, I thought Exxon made a big three. Um, you look at being able to get to the free throw line, he made his free throws. Um, a complete game, he, he probably could have, you know, if you look at the 70 something points, but the three assists is probably what he's thinking about there in that locker room that he could add a triple double. When these guys go in like that, what's going on to your mind as a coach when you see him shooting like that? Yeah, I think we've seen this before, um, but not at, at 70, but just, you know, being able to uh, measure, uh, making sure that he's not exhausted when we need him and, uh, and making sure everybody else stays in tune to the game because sometimes we all can just watch uh, coaches, players, uh, teammates, and so just understanding that we're still trying to, you know, run plays for other guys, uh, use him, you know, uh, as a screener uh, to get other guys shots. I thought he did a, a great job of being able to do that tonight. Coach, as one of the greatest point guards, you've seen players have games like this where they score 50 points, 50 plus points, and you know just to feed them. But when it's your point guard, and as a coach, is it just, all right, I'm going to just let him just go with it instead of whether he's going away from the game plan or not when he's that hot? No, oh, he is the game plan. Um, so, <laughs> some say they're the system. He is the game plan, and so um, again, his ability to uh, make shots, create shots, uh, find open guys. Um, he did that at a high level tonight. Um, again, uh, early on, you know, when he was going, you could see that he wasn't falling, and 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 he was on his feet. So I thought his foundation, his base, was really good tonight. He had his legs. It looked like. Um, and he just took what the defense gave him. Um, again, trying to keep everyone involved. I thought Timmy made some big threes, uh, added a double team where we got the swing, swing. Again, the trust, when you are going like that, a lot of times you can say, hey, I'm just going to beat the double team and shoot it. Um, I've gotten the team this far. But again, that's who he is. He's unselfish. And again, he put his teammates in a position to be successful tonight. Was there a point, whether it was first half or whatever, that you it hit you that this could be a special night for him I think every I, I, I've said this before you know we can't take him for granted you know every night is special he always does something sometimes we uh, are a little bit tough on him because uh, of the wins and losses but you know what he does uh, you know on the court is different than anybody else and so he displayed that again um, maybe going to see Chuck Kenny and those guys and Shaq um, got them inspired last night. Um, and so uh, maybe we should see them a little bit more often. Maybe I should have said extra, extra special. Yeah, yeah, no, this was I extra mean, special. I was mean, there a point where you thought, wow, this is really something? Yeah, in the first quarter, because um, I, I was talking to the coaching staff, I thought we needed him to go for 40 or 50 tonight to give us a chance to win. Um, just with the injuries and, and, and the, the offense that's missing, um, he's got to carry the load, and, we, and he understood that. But um, he gave us that in the first half. So um, at that point, I thought um, maybe we should not, you know, be greedy, but we should we should ask for another forty um, to to make sure that we can find a way to win. And then, real quick, was was there anything like a guy pitching a no hitter? Did any did anybody say anything to him during timeouts? So? Yeah, that's a, actually a great point. You know, I think sometimes this is a first for a lot of guys. You know, on that on our roster to see something special like that, Kai might be the only one who has has seen something like that. Um, so sometimes guys might be a little nervous to talk to him. Um, don't want to make a mistake. Um, don't want to mess up. And so I think it's a great lesson learned. We've we've been on the other side of learning uh, from losing, but tonight's a great you know to learn from playing with a great player who's going big to be able to stay in the game and continue to be ready to knock down big shots. Timmy didn't shoot the ball extremely well there in the first half, but he stayed the course and, and made some big shots to help us win. That won't be talked about because of Luca, but uh, Luca needed him tonight and uh, he stepped up.
What is it about Luca's, you know, unchanging view of the game that, that he is still making passes in, in the fourth quarter? I know you talked a little bit about it, but just that, that you know, entire mindset of how, yeah. you know, he plays the game, you know, even in a game like this. Yeah, I think we talked about it the other night, the Picasso. This is, you know, one of his best, best paintings. This will, this will draw a lot, of, this will sell at a high price. You know, just the way that he painted the game tonight. Um, but the pass that I that people won't talk about is the one under the basket that he threw over his head back to the top of the floor. I don't know if we made it, but it was like, like there was a crowd around him, and for him to to identify who was open in that moment is just it's just you know it's a surreal situation as a coach, but I, as a player or teammate, you got to be thinking how did he find me? But um, that was pretty special tonight. But we needed every point, every minute, um, and he delivered. And then, you know, Brad asked about the, you know, do the players on the bench, you know, look at things differently. For Luca himself was, you know, we, we know that he, he checks the stats, especially when it's triple doubles, you know, but was there any indication at all that, that he, you know, that this was a different game for him or, or was it just kind of the same Luca you see in the midst of a game every time? No, this was a different Luca, and the, the biggest thing, and you know, we talked about it the, after the last game, I thought his emotions, uh, I thought he was happy. We talked, about, I think, about it this morning. When you see him smiling, he's, he's at peace, he's happy, he's going to play at a different level. Um, he does get emotional uh, on the court. Uh, he is shy off the court. Uh, I think he was shy tonight, um, and, and, and he played at a very high level with his shyness. Coach, we saw Embiid and... Um, and Bean and Cat go for 70 and 62 respectively. But then tonight with Luka going, scoring 73 and Devin Booker scored 62 tonight. What does that say about the NBA today? These young kids are playing at a different level. Um, when you can see uh, the way that um, they can score the ball, the way that they uh, can shoot it, um, you know, it's just, it's different. It's in, in understanding Book, Cat, and B, now Luka, um, this is a rare but it also just shows how uh, the game is in good hands with these young players, and it's only going to get better. Thanks.